Jonathan Beefbrook. My name is Davina Di Cara. My name is Otto Brunner. I am Antonio Harrison Sanchez. My name is Andres Galvez. This is the concurrent design facility where we perform uh, conceptual design studies of future European Space Agency uh, mission. The concurrent design facility is a great uh, place to think about uh, new projects and to try to understand uh, how to make them uh, cheaper and with low risk. The CDF is composed by different uh, area where the different specialists in all the uh, subsystem uh, are located and they can iterate within each other. In the front we would have the team leader uh, together with two system engineers. Then we have a dedicated group for cost, risk and simulations and programmatics. We have a dedicated group for mechanical engineers and for electrical engineers. Finally, in the middle, we have a group of customers for whom we are doing this activity. Uh, currently, we are studying uh, the asteroid impact mission here in the CTF. And this uh, is a mission that is looking at the possibility of uh, modifying the trajectory of an asteroid. So we're trying to understand what are the technologies that are involved in this uh, project. It's a very important mission because one of the major threats uh, to Earth is an asteroid uh, collision, which uh, has a certain probability of happening in, in, the, in the future and therefore studying these kinds of missions at the European Space Agency is very important uh, for everyone. It's a very challenging mission as we are hitting a very tiny object uh, very far away in space with a high velocity. Uh, our objectives basically is to maximize the likelihood of achieving the project goals which in this case is to deflect that asteroid from its orbit and to do so uh, within the estimated cost uh, at the uh, scheduled uh, time and to do so in the most robust and reliable way uh, possible. Most of the times we define our needs uh, and we tell the team leader and he is the one that is distributing different actions and different tasks to the specialist. Normally I stand in front of the team conducting the session almost like as if I'm conducting an orchestra. The team leader has an important role because uh, obviously he's, uh, uh, he's a facilitator and he's uh, helping us to drive us towards the final goal, which is the mission design. We start with a sketch on the smart board to get the first concept of the mission. Then we start calculating the trajectory. When we have that, we go into detail in all the subsystem design. Especially communications, propulsion and guidance, navigation and control are design drivers for this mission. The electric propulsion engineer provides the preliminary design of the electric propulsion subsystem, which will make a possible transfer from a low Earth orbit where the launcher located the spacecraft to the final target. And once we have a clear picture of that, then we assess the risk associated with that subsystem, and we, together with the propulsion system uh, subsystem specialist, uh, work on uh, a solution that would make the, the subsystem more reliable. The propulsion engineer provides us the information what, what kind of technical solution he proposes, what type of propulsion, and we uh, can use that to, to develop a, a plan, how much time it will take for the integration. At the end of the session there's basically a set of presentations that are being made by the different specialists. So we have a sort of a continuous update of these um, solutions that are being proposed. Then we hope to finish the first iteration and by that time we will have an assessment on the mass, the cost, the risk and the programmatics. I monitor the progress of the sessions um, because I try to give feedback uh, and try to clarify any aspects really to the needs that we have defined uh, at the beginning of the study. Finally, when we have the configuration uh, design, we can import it into a simulation tool that visualizes not just the satellite but the entire mission. The outcome of an activity in the CDF is more than just a technical design. It is also an assessment on cost, risk, programmatics, AIV plan and simulations. In the last 14 years we have uh, done over 150 activities in the CDF. What we have achieved is a reduction of uh, cost uh, by a factor 2, a reduction of time by a factor 4. We have seen that customers are requesting more and more studies over the years because they've also seen an increase in quality of the results.